So for those who are going to be seeing this on YouTube after the fact, hey everyone, Andrew here for Drudite Games, also evidently called by very few people, Drew, Drew 3PO, because of the mispronunciation of my name when I rated Geeks and Gamers previously, by Drunk 3PO. But with that in mind, obviously you guys see it's the Adventures of Ashland Sunfire, Episode 3, I said I'd be back with my female character in the evening, and here I am. going to do this for a couple of hours, and then call it a night, so. With that in mind, y'all, we got some questing to do here. So we were last doing the, the Cowl of Nocturnal. Fuck. What time is it here? 3.26 in the morning, alright, everyone should be asleep. Hey, K Dog, how's it going? Just trying to get out of this house without getting spotted. You just saw Spider-Man? Ah, uh, how was it? Even though everyone's been saying that it's great, awesome, it's the top three Spider-Man movies of all time, I'll believe it when I see it on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, everyone's saying it's good. But honestly, the trailer left me feeling like, I feel like it's going to be a waste of time. Because there are trailers that, for me, sell you on seeing a movie, and then there are trailers that make you feel, I feel like it's going to be just a waste of money. That's what the trailer for the Spider-Man, uh, hey, hey gaming, that's what the trailer of, of the Spider-Man film, uh, left me feeling like, so. Like I said, if and when I see it on Disney Plus, if I do, I'll watch it there. If I see it on Netflix, I'll watch it there. And if I don't see it on one of there, then based on what you guys are saying, I'll pick up the Blu-ray or something and watch it then. 
Because a lot of people that I trust the opinions of have been saying that it's good, so... So, we gotta wait till morning for her to come out of the house we were just in. To try to talk to her. Okay, looks Hello, like she... Iron, solid, and true. Well, yeah, it's iron and among other things there, sir. Anyway. Still gotta wait for... her to come out. Even though she was in... Uh... Another place altogether previously. It went about an hour. Are you are you also talking about the Spider Man movie uh they're gaming? I need to talk to you, Geasley. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. It would seem so. Gold solves most problems, doesn't it? There we go. Done. Uh, you weren't too impressed? Now it sounds like there's mixed reviews of it. Because K Dog. Seemingly likes it. A lot of people like it in our community. Gaming was not too impressed by it. And honestly, any time that it feels like time travel is used, it just feels lazy to me. Like, in anything. Like, almost as if trying time travel is like the last, like, chance that you have to make sure that your movie doesn't completely suck. Doesn't completely suck. Now we gotta read this thing. Hey, Joshy. It isn't time travel, just different universe that comes into it. So what's the difference? Gotta discover the, uh, stables up here still. Which means I probably have to get to Dragon Bridge as well. Alright, so where is the quest location we're trying to get to? It's all the way out here by areas that we have not been yet. So yeah, so we're better off just going on foot. There you are. Hello. I've been everywhere for you. I've got this thing I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Uh let's see. Looks like that's all. I have to leave. Traveled to pure water 
Ruin. Okay, so that's an update to a previous quest. But right now we're currently working on one, so we'll do that one next then. Time travel would be changing what happened. It's hard to explain the other thing without saying spoilers. Fair, fair enough. Hey, Chunk. Like I said earlier when I was playing the adventures of Drew Heartfire, I said I would end with some booty for everyone, and... Ashlyn definitely brings the booty. Among other things, too, as you can see. And obviously the camera's working, because I restarted the system from earlier. Hopefully there's no crashing that fucks that up again. But even if that is still the case, I'll still keep streaming for the time that I intend to, so... See, it's about 20 to 12 here central time now, so... I'm thinking till about 2 o'clock in the morning at this point. And if there's anyone still live at that point, then I'll raid them. And if there isn't, well, then obviously I'll just call it a stream at that point. And then work on uploading this to YouTube, like I usually do with my Skyrim stuff. Not really. Yep. What's this on my phone now? Ah, eh, fucking fox. Okay, now she's over encumbered, apparently. By one fucking pound. Alright. Well. Guess we're gonna have to head back to... Didn't know she had one. Darn it. <laughs> anyway. So what I was looking at, oh yeah, it's all of you guys liking the tweet of the stream. So, as I was trying to do, lighten some weight here. Alright, that eases the burden. Note to self, don't pick too much more up. In fact, probably consider selling a few things at first opportunity. kind of weapons am I working with here? The Ebony Sword. Orcish Bow. Is actually better than that one, so... Hmm. 
Let's try this for now. Whoops. Steel dagger. Yeah, that's all we'll pick up. So we can smelt down the dagger later. Good for you. My buddy, I shared the link to our stream with earlier, watched it after I got home from work. Okay, cool. I did no I did I did notice this the ugh, pff, fuck. I did notice that the YouTube channel picked up a couple more subs today. Looks like we're going to use the bow, then. That one fell. battles by th slaying three or more people. Yeah, that's a race-based thing for her. One was probably your buddy. Which I do appreciate uh, anyone that in the community's personal friends like following and supporting each of us as well. As well as each of us following and supporting each one of us as well. Yeah, that's the intention to do a weekly stream hopefully on Sundays at some point. Since I usually don't work Sundays. Um, of playing uh, that game with Chunk the Punk on YouTube guys. So That being uh, Borderlands 2. So... Come on, you fuckers. Another fight with three or more. Fortunately, arrows don't weigh anything. He 
plays a lot of Borderlands as well, so I knew he'd enjoy it. Fair enough. I'm thinking that it's a vampire. Here we go again. I'm watching TNT U since I missed it earlier. Uh, Teen Titans, uh, something chunk. Was busy with Cowman stream. Yeah, I uh, but right right before this was watching Talk Nerdy to us. Oh, that's what you meant by by TNT. You got got it, chunk. Yeah, I was watching the same thing as you then. You're watching the replay, all right. Yeah, uh, it was fun. Uh, I won't spoil any I won't spoil anything for you because I don't know how far you are, but they did wind up having a third person uh, join them at some point, which it was fun to hear from them. Fucker. Yep. This is just to work on the archery. Even though I can't take the pelt or anything. Even though I didn't even hit the fucking thing. See what other clothing do we do we have here? Oh yeah, we had the outfit that I was trying to get her to wear previously that I should sell that. The problem is is that it doesn't fit cuz her boobs are too big. They go right through the top. Hmm. Steel armor. How does this look? That looks impressive. Do I have any steel? Yeah, I got steel gauntlets and steel shin boots. Alright. That works. We got heavy armor now. Yes, yes indeed, it was Rhino Chunk. Then they started getting into uh, Star Wars, which we have talked about on Druidette Entertainment quite a bit recently ourselves. 
I'm working on it. Radio is live playing Apex again. And that Tug Life is playing Fortnite. Horror, uh, Amarota, The Shagsworth, Radio, Trey 50, Jen is dead, and, and Lord, and Lord Orpho are all live. But I am still gonna be here for about another two hours, so. Give or take. I'm just keeping track verbally here so I can remember who I saw earlier and whatnot. Because if all of these people are live now, that's a lot to pick from to raid. I don't think I've ever raided that tug life. I know I've never raided, uh... I don't think I've raided Trey. I know I have never raided, uh... Jen is dead. Or Lord Orpho, so... Oh, good. Time to switch to the hammer. Jeez, couple of headbutts. And she's over encumbered again. By a couple pounds. But we can level up, so we should be able to fix that right here. Hopefully. Okay, so... Okay, that did help. Good. Now we're two pounds oh, uh, underweight. Okay, good. That level up helped quite a bit there. What the fuck is going on over here? Did you see your DM from earlier? I did not. Oh, look right. At least I don't think I did. Mara saw uh, the stream now. Oh, were you talking about, uh, was that about Saints Row then, Chunk? 
Because if that's what you're talking about, then yeah, then I saw that as soon as it popped up. Yeah. Then, then of course I saw it, because I see anything that pops up, because it all goes straight to my phone. Need something? Yes? Someone do something! You're a hired bodyguard. You do something. Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. The valuables are attached, sir. And I don't have time for this. You're, you're taunting as you already have the death blow in your skull. And he's having a seizure. Great, over encumbered. Even though we shouldn't be, because we're at the weight. Once we get to White Run, then we'll be able to. How much gold do I have anyway? 43,000, alright. Funny story, I rented the original Saints Row 3 from Redbox and my debit card got compromised so I couldn't pay the Redbox for my remaining rental so I kept the game and only paid like two bucks for it. That's, that's actually kind of funny, but also kind of depressing at the same time because your card got compromised. In my case, Chunk, I never played the original Any Saints Row, so... The remaster was the first time that I've ever played it, as you could tell by some of the stuff I was saying. Like, for example, at the time I was saying, What's the actual object of this game? At this point. Things like that. You call customer service and tell them what happened, and they were like, yeah, there's nothing we can do. Just keep it. <laughs> well, that's interesting. I remember renting uh, physical video games uh, from a local video game place that wound up closing up shop and becoming like an orthopedic like office or something like that. That was like a couple blocks from the house that I was living in when I was in high school. And then later on in my 20s to my early 30s, renting video games from a place called Family Video on the other end of town that opened up where, where, where the old Burger King used to be. So I would rent, like, all kinds of games from there instead of buying them at the time. And keep in mind that this was all before YouTube and Twitch. Need something? So before Judat Games was even a thought. So, uh... So when I was renting games, I would rent things like, uh... Uh, Crisis 1 and 2, um... 
a game that I actually have physically now. Uh, that's NBA 2K11 I uh, previously rented. I bought that for my used game place in town. Yeah. Actually, a uh, uh, fun fact, how I came across actually Knights of the Old Republic for the for the original Xbox was by renting it from the old place that used to exist. Uh, um, that was down the street from the house. So I would just go there, like, rent a game or two and then play them for a few days. The frame rate's really starting to suck, so let's save it here. Because usually when that happens, that's usually an indicator of an incoming crash or something. I only played Saints Row 3. Yeah, I've n not played, well, outside of the remaster of 3... No, I take that back. I played one. It was it was Saints Row. Uh, I believe it's called Get Out of Hell, which was like one of those in-between games in the series, because I was in Games with Gold at one point. So I did actually stream that on uh, uh, on Twitch at the time. I did try GameFly for a while. Yeah. Gamefly was pretty popular uh, back like, in 2010 to the 2014 time frame, from my understanding. No, uh, no chunk. I never did the Gamefly business. Before that, even like 2007. <laughs> well, yeah. Gamefly was pretty popular for for quite a while. In my case, I probably just didn't do it. Probably just because I didn't understand like the whole mail-in rental thing. Because at that point, I think my mind was like. Who would be to stop me from just keeping them and just like not returning a damn thing at that point? And that's probably why I never did it because it was just confusing to me. Because I always understood go into the place down the street, rent a couple games, play them, return them like a few days later. Because that made all the sense in the world to me at, at that point. Now, we effectively, to a degree, nowadays, just rent digital versions of games sometimes. That's effectively what Xbox Game Pass is. It's, it's basically a rental service, but a digital version of it. You miss, you miss Blockbuster? Mm. I'm, I, miss, I miss physical rental places too, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. We'll see about selling some of our useless stuff in just a minute here.
Whoops. That's a bit jumpy. Here we're six levels away from getting to exotic smithing. Thinking I need to train some more. Time is it? 6.51 p.m. Don't have a lot of time to do any trading here. Welcome to Bellathor's General Goods. Welcome indeed. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. That could be considered sex trafficking. Oh, I forgot I had that. Smelt those down for some steel. I forgot we can only do that if she's not wearing that stuff. Do come hmm? Well, we're gonna have to go. Mm, fuck. All right then. So I guess we're gonna go have to do some naked smithing then. Nothing of our struggle. In a minute. Suffering. Nothing. <laughs> what of my son? Hmm? What of poor old? Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about suffering. Your son chose his side and he chose poorly, and now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. I will never accept his death. Please, stop wasting my time. My heart. So tell me, Battleborn, where is You're the one stopping to talk to us. <laughs> Do you believe this old Holding him? Why, I've got him in my cellar. He's my prisoner. Face it, Cowl. Your stupid son is dead. He died a storm cloaked traitor. And you, you best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. Come on, Father. There's nothing more to be said here. Now well, to go do the naked smithing. So, hmm, this gate's here now. Let's see. Yeah, we still gotta get up there.
Let's discover these farms while we're over here. And this homestead. There's a fight between guards and bandits in there, which we aren't involved with. But your avatar is pretty cool. Uh, this isn't really my avatar, this is just my female character. My avatar is effectively Drew Heartfire, so... But you're right, she probably is going to be getting pretty cold pretty soon, because we're getting to the snowier regions fairly soon here. That's one short little man. My poor mother. Frosty cheeks. And, uh, and frosty other things too, Chunk. I would say frosty melons, too. Her breath has gone cold, so it's obviously quite cold up here by the snow, which you'd expect. A spider, lovely. Two-hand, it just went up to 30. What are melons? <laughs> you mean you don't know?
when they say colder, that's then it was just Teddy and uh, Brad. <laughs> uh, that reminds me of how my father would put, used to put that. My uh, my dad didn't used to say cold. Cold, colder than a witch's titty. My dad used to say, "Cold enough to freeze the balls off a brass monkey." And I live in Minnesota, so think about it for a minute. And my dad was born here in Minnesota, and he passed here, so think about that too. While you're thinking about the balls of a brass monkey falling off. Autocorrect, asshole. <laughs> oh, we go in here. That's right. You picked a bad time to get. <laughs> You missed. And Ashlyn didn't. Face covering. That'll help with covering her face from the cold. <laughs> but not but nothing else. Well, she's a little more dressed for cold now. <laughs> Or get stuck to the porch like Joe Turt. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen Joe Dirt in a long time. Here's some fur armor. Let's see how that goes for keeping her warm. Oh well, it's a little warmer. At least it looks a little warmer. And still kind of revealing. But we're in a cave now, so she doesn't have to be wearing that at the moment. Or the mask. The sequel is dog shit. The original is a classic though. Yeah, I have... I don't think I've seen the sequel. It was only the original that I think of, that I've ever seen.
Enjoy the fire. So that's what that other one did. I heard there's an actual Lampoon's Christmas Vacation 2 that's out. Never seen or heard about it until seven years ago at my Target. Hollywood likes to keep its secrets, Joshy. of stuff to sell there. There's some stuff to keep. We're obviously going to have to give that away for the mask. This is nice. Yeah, I think the ebony weapons would suit her better than the other shit. However, this thing is doing a lot of good damage, so I'm going to keep using that for now. Ugh. Kind of interested in watching it even though e even though it might be bad. <laughs> Watching it though, even though, kind of threw me off with all of those there for a minute there, Joshy. Cousin Eddie's Island Adventure. <laughs> We're heading back out into the cold, so... On with the warmer stuff. Wait, that wasn't the shit. Here, the fur armor. There we go. <laughs> that made me think of something. Ever walk out of the house during the winter? You think you're dressed fine? You get halfway down the walkway from your door and go, Nope, I ain't dressed for this weather. <laughs> and I owe it to... I, w I wonder when AOT drops... I 
I'm with Joshi. What's AOT? I feel like I should know what the fuck that is. Attack on Titan, yeah. That's what I thought that was. It's been a while since I've watched anything from Mark the Cyborg. Or... Or heard Lethal Lightning mentioning that show. Okay, so where are we going now? All the way to Riften. Which we've been there, so... We can just fast travel there. I might stream Bioshock. I love those games. Yeah, uh... That's something in my backlog, too. If you guys want to see me playing Bioshock at any point, just say so. Because I gotta play through the entire Bioshock series. Yet. Because I never finished the first or the second one. Or... Or, uh, Infinite, so... I could play all the way through all three of those games. Because I have the original versions and I have the, uh, the Xbox One and PS4 versions as well. I still need to stream Ghost Runner. You've got all three Bioshock games in your backlog too, yeah. I'd be a lot warmer. I shouldn't, because the first two games were birthday presents from my sister, like, years ago. When she bought them from a used game place in town. Because she bought both of those Bioshock games, uh, 1 and 2. As well as Army of Two, uh, 40th Day for my birthday one year. Done well. Of course, I trust we'll never need to speak of this again to anyone. Okay, now Ashlyn also has the gray cowl now. Save it here quickly, in case anything happens. And next quest. Interception. Travel to pure water. Run. Alright. Let's see how that goes. First, let's discover the keep here in town, and also pick up an amulet of Mara and ask about getting married at the What's temple, too. Stranger? Excuse you, kid? Completely forgot about the keep. I'll do that in just a minute. You'll stream tomorrow for sure. Bioshock 2's DLC is amazing. Very good story. All Bioshock games are amazing. Hopefully this next one will be good. Heard it's in development hell. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've recently heard too, uh, Joshi. Okay, so the priest I need to talk to is not in here. So, so what are you gonna stream tomorrow then, Joshi? Cause I was thinking about it. Uh, we should try to do like Among Us, like whenever, like any day that we can get a group together. 
So like not an uh, not not specifically on any given day, just whenever people agree to like just play among us together at that point. Especially with uh, Chunk and I now setting Sunday aside to play together on the on the YouTube side of things, uh, Borderlands 2, so. So that day's gonna be for Chunk and I to do that on YouTube. And then, as I said er earlier here on Twitch and also on YouTube, that uh, the Drew Dad Games podcast is moving from Fridays to Wednesdays. And Breaking Rocks is going to be specifically on Mondays now, as well. So. Can't wait to kill another Imperial. But uh, that is, we'll do Breaking Rocks on the Entertainment Channel. You're thinking Ghost Runner. Okay. F fair enough. I'm not familiar with it. But I'll check out your stream and... And s so I can see what that game is actually about then. All the way the fuck out here, huh? Then let's take the carriage out to Morthal. Since we got plenty of gold, we can afford a a bunch of carriage rides if if we want to and I feel like taking the carriage right now anyway plus we haven't discovered the, the, the city yet where do you want to go climb and back and we'll be off you ready to go yet yep in the back of it sitting on her fine ass I'd, I'd say we can probably set a date for Friday, maybe for Among Us, or another day if possible. Um, we'll see. Because any streams is going to be, like, around my work schedule, and, uh... We're going back to, like, working the truck at work, like, later in the day now. So now it's, for me, it's starting at 5.30 and working till 10 in the morning now. Uh, each day that I work. So I won't be getting home till, like, somewhere close to 10.30, maybe 11 o'clock at that point. On, yeah, and Chunk is getting among us for the PlayStation As well, so then he should be joining us. So then we should be using party, ch uh, not the party chat, but the game chat for that going forward. With the exception of trying to set it up on the Xbox side, we can use the party chat for that much. And there probably won't always be, like, something worth playing f on Fridays for, like, the free-to-play Friday stuff. So Fridays probably would be the best choice to play Among Us at that point. So probably Fridays after I get home for work uh, at that point. Reminds me it's after midnight now, so now it's, it's now Sunday.
Yeah. Absolutely, Joshy. So, so is Among Us currently downloading on your PS4 then, Chunk, or? You were saying? At checkout now. Good night, kid dog. Sleep well. Get up the hill, Ashlyn. Come on, girl. Oh, fucking hell. And you shouldn't have attacked. Well, that. Well, that explains all the goods. That was a merchant. It's like it's in, in Hades, made by some people. Transistor is pretty good. Whenever we set up a schedule for Among Us, I can let Phil know so we can try to have him come play. Yeah. We can discuss that in text messages uh, late, later on today since it's now Sunday for me. Because I won't be streaming until like late, late into uh, Sunday, so. Cause, so there won't be like a Sunday morning or afternoon thing for me. And, uh, seeing as how, because we did Borderlands 2 yesterday, that's a, that's effectively what, what, uh, Sunday would have been for, for Chunk and I, so, that's effectively a day off for streaming, uh, on Sunday here, if I want to take it, but I'm not going to, because I'm going to do something like, in the evening, going into Monday, so... What, I don't know. There's a good chance it might be Bioshock now. If I'm, I might even go back to Dragon Age Origins or pick up something else that I've previously started. We'll see. Because there's a lot of options for uh, Sunday evening stream now.
Whatever here. Take care with those flames. Correct. It's all in this note. Now, this conversation never happened. Understood? Good luck out there. So, there's one of them out here. Can't fast shovel from here, apparently. How about now? Okay. Risk of Rain 2 is also on sale, so I got that. Was curious about it. Hmm. I'm not sure what Risk of Rain is. Yep, despite my backlog, I got five games today. <laughs> I know the feeling, Chunk. I, You guys have seen my backlog on YouTube now. And, uh... Did I get anything recently added to it? I don't think so. I don't believe I've bought anything since I filmed... Or since I did that backlog stream. So... Not unless you count the PlayStation Plus games and, like, the one Games with Gold game that I had downloaded. If you count those, then I did add a couple of things to my backlog. Because so I do also, ha also have a bunch of games from PlayStation Plus over the years to play through as well. As well as the Games with Gold game collection. Should probably start doing those. Well, six, I got Ghost of Shishima. Director's Cut a few weeks ago. Yeah, I saw you were... I saw someone playing that on PlayStation recently. Just a heads up. The Tiny Tina $10 DLC that's out right now. Do you... Do not get it. It's just DLC from Borderlands 2, so basically you're paying $10 for DLC that's already been out. So for me, I'd be playing $10 for DLC that I have not bought or played. At that point. So for someone like me, it's not a big deal, but for anyone that has bought and played all of the DLC for that, that's probably not a good idea. Or well, technically, yes, but they did say some new stuff to it. Mm. Almost bought it until I saw the trailer and asked friends about it. They told me it's just DLC from Borderlands 2. Just a cheap cash grab. Yeah. Okay, so which one am I supposed to be going? This way for the moment, and then the other guy is out near Rorkstead. Or, or is that Iverstead? I think that's Iverstead. From a distance, it looked like she wasn't wearing panties whatsoever. Speaking of trouble nearby...
Ow. That mercenary is gonna get us fucking killed. Wasn't just skins though that they added. Not sure how long this quest is going to take, so this might be the last one of the stream here. I want your cell swords out of my mind. Watch your tongue, native. We'll leave when we're sure there's no force ward here. Oh, and when would that be, I wonder? When I sell my land to the Silverbloods? The Silverbloods have made you a very generous offer for this pile of dirt. I suggest you take it. Needs. If you cause problems, I'll have to ask you to leave. Of course. Let's both get on with our lives now, hmm? And then this guy... Here, so we're gonna have to head from Riften.
I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura, the Goddess of Twilight, if you'll excuse me. In the mountains to the northeast, I'll mark it on your map. All right. Yeah, I got Borderlands 3 for the Xbox as well. I th believe I also have the Handsome Jack collection installed on my Xbox One as well. Which I also have that installed on my PS4 right now. That's how Chunk and I were playing it uh, earlier. Oh good, more spiders. Goblin. Well, you didn't stand a chance. Another spider. That one was pretty heavily wounded by somebody. Much further. Another pathway? So there is. There's a shortcut, apparently. Well, that saves quite a bit of time. <laughs> you guys are shopping while in the chat.
I had an issue with Borderlands 2 where I had an update and half of everything, skins and leveling up, got deleted for no reason. I contacted 2K about it and they just gave me two golden keys for the golden chest, which was total BS. I spent hours getting skins and, and leveling up and that's all they gave me. Welcome to Cor Welcome to Corporate America Gaming Edition. Joshy. Do we have any honey broom mead? I think we drank it. Yeah, we did. This way to Iverstead, evidently. Yep. We're nearly there. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home. I was about to say you're a big fellow, but never mind, you're a fucking pussy. The fuck? I was gonna say, what the fuck am I hearing? Yeah, I didn't play Borderlands for a long time after that. That's kind of a miss, Ashlyn. We made it here, but for some reason it's pointing us back. Towards the city. Okay, I'm gonna try this then. To try to fix the stupid <laughs> quest 
marker. That's better. There you are. You lost. Need something? I understand. Anyway, it's done. Time to move on. First, we're going to level up here before I forget again. You could have gone inside the inn to do that. What's done is done. And how's it going, Dark? Sorry, I only just noticed you. When did you get here? Just recently, then. Yes, I'm waiting. You've done well. It just so happens I've got some scouts along the road. Meet up with them. Together, see if you can't overpower the caravan. Here, this is for you. I'll take my leave. Interesting. I'll check that stuff out as soon as I get out of this cave. Alright, I'll take a look at this stuff right here. Comp oh yeah, I forgot I'm wearing the fucking mask. Yeah, that completely covers her up. Well, this is her warrior get up then, I guess.
So sounds good, Chunk. Be sure to get the game properly set up with your name and whatnot, because you're going to have to do that. For when you get the chance to play with us. Yeah, I kind of wish it had offline bo mode with bots, too. That would be really, really uh, fun to play for achievements and whatnot. And also to practice, you know. Practice being <laughs> a lying, cheating asshole. As if my brother needs practice at that. As it turns out. We're almost there. Okay, none of them are after us. I guess they're ignoring Ashlyn because her ass and her tits are covered. There they are.
What the fuck? Well, I think I feel like there was a mistake here somewhere. Let's try that again. Yeah, I realize that. I know that that's a thing in Skyrim Dark. I'm well versed in uh, how the mechanics of the game. As I said, let's try that again, because we're not supposed to be fighting them. Because we're supposed to be w one of them now. I'd be concerned if you didn't. Skyrim has been around for a decade now. Yes, I know. I was there on launch day on November 11th of 2011, Dark. I remember the feeling of popping this into my 360 for the first time. And just being amazed going, This is easily worth 60 bucks, no question, at the time. Oops, did not mean to take the broom, but whatever. I know exactly why that all transpired, but my reaction was still be like it usually is. I th I think there's been a misunderstanding here. <laughs> yeah, I went past the path.
now let's save it here this time. That's all I needed to do then. <laughs> Thank you. Here, this is for you. May the gods keep you. Alright, so this is the armor and weapons that we get for doing this. And we get a pile of gold in the end as well. Some pretty nice armor, actually. But I dig more... ...this outfit, though. So let's plan out the first quest of the next stream of this before I end this. Speak with the warrior at uh, Henderham. I think uh, we'll check that out next time. For now, let's see, okay. That's up there. Ah, I remember what that is now. That's, uh, that's one of the player homes that we can pick up, so... Or... Get. I guess we'll do the Jester thing next time. So we will just... Fast travel here. I'll save it here. And then we'll see about raiding somebody. At this point. So, with that in mind, let's see, we got Horror uh, Amarota, we got Radio, and the Shagsworth is all that's left live right now. I've been terrible today, catching your stream at the very end. 
It's no problem, Dark. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a late stream because uh, I got other stuff to do tomorrow. Well, tomorrow, I mean Sunday, which it's now Sunday. So uh, today I got stuff to do during the day. So it won't be till like in the evening, give or take, when you'll see me live here again. Radio? We can raid radio. Otherwise, what I'll be playing, uh... <sighs> I guess I'll be trying to get back into Mass Effect, uh... Next time I'm live, so... With that in mind... Just make sure I spelled it right. Yeah, I did. So with that in mind, um, just pay attention to my Twitter because I will tweet out what time I will go live later on um, during the day or evening and whatnot. Before uh, before I do so, by like four or five hours, I usually tweet it out. When I do tweet it out, so if you. So, so therefore, Dark, if you're on Twitter, just follow me on Twitter as dat underscore Drew, and you'll find out what time I'll be going live at that point. With that in mind, like I said, we're going to go raid radio here. I'll see you guys later. Have yourselves a great night. And may the force be with us, because we damn sure need it. Good night, guys.